Victory XR is our VR AR company and we take existing curriculum and try to figure out how to make it come alive using either virtual reality or augmented reality, all based on the next gen science standards. We established our studios here, the former H.M. Perry Elementary School. This was my elementary school, and we create some of the most interesting AR, VR education curriculum, and we distribute it around the world. It's easy for us to present students with books, but what if you can actually take students to the rainforest, or let them actually take their hands and manipulate the blocks as they learn Newton's laws? This makes science or learning come alive and it allows them to do science rather than just to absorb it. Our dissection project began as trying to see what makes a good use case for virtual reality. I met an old college friend in Iowa City. He's now an assistant superintendent of schools near Chicago. And he said what we really need is frog dissection and other animal dissections in virtual reality because new state laws allow students to opt out of traditional dissection. We've partnered with Carolina Biological, America's leading live specimen provider for schools for dissection. So we use their procedures and process, their manual, to fidelity. And Wendy just enhances the script. My name is Wendy Martin, science teacher, and I'll be guiding you through today's experience. Wendy Martin is one of the best science teachers in America. I do a lot of the script writing for the videos and aligning the curriculum along with Renee and fact checking and those sorts of things. She does the teaching as a hologram within our virtual reality. Unless kids love to learn, you're not gonna make a lot of progress with learning. And when I first put a VR headset on, I realized, wow, kids could really love to learn this way. Welcome to the virtual laboratory. The frog's realism is mostly chalked up to Wendy and Aaron's efforts. How its arms and legs realistically flop around with realistic physics and you can open up its mouth with the probe. You will have a specimen in front of you, you will have tools available for you, you will actually be able to dissect the specimen using your hands and tools. There is a chalkboard that will be in front of you and it will throw up important vocab words. There will be assessments, little quick quizzes, but they'll be fun. When we create education experiences, we use the VARC theory of learning, visual, oral, uh, reading slash writing, and kinesthetic. And there's no other way you can teach kids in all four of those learning methods in a classroom other than virtual reality. Winning the Viveport Awards, the VDAs, has been the most significant thing that has happened to our company. We've got a bunch of developers here who are working away, but this is the, the type of thing that lets them know that what you're doing really matters. And this is a, a stamp of approval by one of the most important VR companies in the world, so it, it has meant so much to us. As we enter the next phase, we believe that it's a, a phase where students can enter a new learning portal where they will be in classrooms together from all over the world. Bring them together in one virtual classroom and have an instructor teach them. But also you can have students join together and create things and to learn actively. The more that becomes integrated and the more that schools get hardware, it completely changes the way students learn around the world. If you want to learn more, follow Victory XR on all of the major social media platforms and download our products on Viveport. Hyperdrive sequence initiated.